What's up guys, this is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as the Italian States. So to run off where we are next, where we, were, where we left off, we gathered our forces to attack this British force that was blockading our fleet. Uh, blockading our home port, sorry. Which we need to be freed up in order to grow our economy and expand our war against Sweden. So without further ado, let us attack. We are going to get support from a sloop inside um, inside the besieged port. However, I will be immediately sending it home because there's absolutely no need to bring that little sucker into this battle. So, seconds up front, followed by the thirds, followed by fourths, followed by the fifths, and. The Admiral will just stay out of the way, although I've definitely not done this right. Second, third, third, fourth, 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 fourth. Admiral's first rate, and our fifths bring up the rear. Deployed like so. Okay, I'm going to stay where I am, I'm going to speed up time. So send this little sloop home. Okay, so it looks like what they want to do... What they want to do is attack the rear of our line. And rather than sail this way to go broadside by broadside, I want to spin around. So... As these guys head in this direction, my line is turned about how successful will be at that I don't know look at that so let's go back to front of our line and bring it back around and sail it around Maybe sell more like that. So they will get some shots off at the rear of our formation. But that's okay. Actually, they might not even get that. Okay, let's take this section... Group, group, and group. These guys form a line there. Fortunately, that's most of our heavy hitters out of the fight. So we should be we should be winning the long range engagements. If I curl the head of our line around to the west, we'll start to bring more guns to bear. The remnants, these guys, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with them. I'm okay with letting these guys continue their engagement. At the very least, we are bringing a few, a few fourth rates, and also still our admiral's first rate ship of the line into battle. And lots of these ships are quite badly damaged. And these are all fifths. your sail. It's 
something like this, but the head of their line is getting chewed up. I might actually play it on one speed forward. Can you try and turn away from us? You are. Let's do something like this. Let's get aggressive. So it looks like their ship's actually going to get a bit stuck. So these ships that were going over here. May even triple speed this. So we're currently sat engaging right at the edge. Nope, okay, so they have they've decided to continue their original trajectory. So let's spin our heavy hitters around to also begin to engage. Looks like we are winning the gunnery match to the rear. these fellas to go at full sail as fast as they can. So they are going to turn in an aerial. I know some of our big hitters are actually getting into the mix. Look at this light galley. Oars are flying. Keep our line sailing. The volcano is looking a bit iffy. But just keep, just keep letting our ships open up. sailing. Although it just looks like well, the head of their column is getting quite badly mauled by our cannon fire. So there is a bit of a question mark about the survivability of the rear of our fleet. Turn Fama back onto fire at will. Okay, let's bring this ship back about. Some of the earlier fifths are starting to get stuck in now. Stanza, we've got a full broadside left. Engage Albany. So this fella's starting to take on. You know, Ariel just looks pretty upset. Let's get this chap over here at all speed. Ready the broadside. Too late. He already fires some off. Six guns. Seven.
have started to rush rush our ships. The fifth, this fifth rate is looking a bit isolated to the rear of the line. Let's halt fire at will. So Hampton's routing. So I'm not looking to necessarily capture the ships. Let's get some of these ships actually pivoting around a bit more strongly. Surrendered ships. Come on, Katie. You've got to be providing that long range fire support. Inbound. We've only got nine shots, but you need to fire anyway. I think I was pivot. Nah, to be. Nah, that's fair enough. You fire grape shots. Put some holes in this caster. Push a broadside into that fifth rate. Let's pump a broadside into the side of that fifth. See if we can get this fellow to pivot. Too bad Frolic is probably going to escape. Ah, Arden's going to escape as well anyway. Looks like lots of them are withdrawing. These guys to chase down the leading element. Let me speed up time because right now it looks like. It looks like the Royal Navy is withdrawing from the fight. Sailing at full 
full steam. But yes, they have. They are retreating. To be honest, most of them aren't actually. Come back to fight. See you fire. I just do good old round shot. Even though I don't need to capture them, um, I would like to capture them, because then it would, would mean ships to join our our navy. Kapow! Let's speed up time. Put some shells into their sails, please. Round shots. Everyone's now getting held up by, uh, Everyone's now getting held up by traffic jams. Uh, no, we need to want to knock this sucker's sails out. Turn him into just a floating hulk. Granted, he's already lost his mainmast, but I want to take out more. Rear master's gone. Turn this chat's firewall off. So I don't want it to engage irresistible. You can just drop anchor and do that here. What I want is this guy to fire a broadside into Frolic. soon be all that remains is frolic frolic is the only is the last ship of the line and this is it whoo yeah managed not to lose a ship but we probably didn't took more damage than we would need but that's classic me let's just say that let's prepare for a mighty expansion of the italian navy so we want the fifth don't want the sixth we don't want that light galley. So add the fifths to the fleet. Cash the rest. So that's one British Navy stack dealt with. Out of one out of it's two. There's one in one in London, one elsewhere. So you guys get to Toronto. Jeffrey, you get into Hirovina. Yeah. Let's get our uh, previous or other admiral can go over there. Ah, you, you're too big. Okay, let's take a fifth rate over to Ravenna. Two thousand six hundred to repair them. Can't fully repair the fifth rate, but that's pretty damn good going, I think. Okay. They 
do we go after do we go after those guys no let's replenish let's, re let's replenish let's take it a bit slow we can afford to do that with them same with this guy he can just hunker down and get some reinforcements although i can't build anything here i don't have any money anyway okay let us oh, you keep marching on So we've opened up our trade, not very much actually, it's gone up to 19,000. But oh well, let's hit end turn. Our agents continue to move. Yep, so Britain's on their way along towards Morocco. I suspect they are going to get picked up by that navy. Yep, the Ottoman are growing in the Ottoman Empire is growing in strength again. They will not leave us unchallenged for long, especially as we have Cairo. Here comes another Swedish army, and we're gonna form a mighty defense. Although to be honest, that oh, this army's pretty depleted. This army's anyone in full strength. Let's do it. This will help decide where we need to spend the majority of our time and effort. Although ideally we will smash them and then we can push our army in France up to Paris and secure Paris. But it will remain to be seen if they will let us. Bit of a bad position. I like over here better but it gives us we are in danger of uh, we are in danger of being surprised from the rear so to speak here so let's hunker down let's main force and let's see where the enemy march in from. And our Swiss guard. Deploy our howitzers, obviously. Quick climbing the hell out of people. Nope. They have actually deployed. Or well, they are, they're deploying their reinforcements in a slightly better position for us. In which case, then, let's put the bulk of our cavalry on the left. Deploy most of our infantry over, and then leave a militia unit to guard any wide ranging flanks from around here. Quick lines hammering in, but we want to go straight for the guards and the marines, because that's already absolutely eviscerated their regiment of horse. But this is exactly the type of battle we were hoping to draw the Swedes into. So we're attempting counter battery. There we go. Killed a horse team and some cavalry. Okay. I don't think they're going to let us get away with sitting back for as long as we'd like so let's push some forces up it should be fairly safe because we are just going to be firing round shot which can arc over us Do. Oh no, don't have to worry about round shot attacks. Hammer them with quick lime. I was going to move my howitzers up, but there's not really a need. Push my cavalry up. Here comes the enemy reinforcements. 
Horse Guard Unit, Lancer Guards, Provincial Cav, Unit of Artillery. Let's run these infantry, because they are bringing up Lancer Guard units. We're focusing on counter battery, but the fact they're running so many men towards their own guns gives us a bit of an advantage there. Yes, a delicious quick lime. Regiment of Dragoons, intercept. No, hold them. If these guys are willing to uh, stand off and be attrited at range by my muskets, then I will let them. Let's intercept the guardsmen with one of our units of cavalry. We should probably. You guys can fire it well. There we go. The infantry battle has been joined. Okay, you guys need to get out of square and instead form this position here. Pull the cavalry back. Let's slam the door on this flank. Let's put. Yeah, let's put a unit up on the hill. There's cavalry charging in. Melee dragoons. So that is their general and a horse guard unit. So let's deploy our cavalry into the mix. Chambers bodyguard in the centre. The unit of dragoons should probably die. Let's make sure our howitzers are firing at suitable targets. The regiment of horse sh might need a bit of help. You go off that set of guns, you intercept the general. Close range, quick lime support coming in. You charge these marines. These guys are in square. Should be able to kill that general. Because these are horse guards, so you can't just leave them alone. Marines are shattered, you're shattered, you're just routing. Charge down the Marines. Okay, definitely want to break this formation. Which means I probably need to do like something like that. Charge them in the rear. I mean, it's a bit funky why I'm still getting these sound bugs, but whatever. Can't fix everything. So these line infantry are getting shot to bits. So is this regiment. Shattered. Okay, now you guys can go in to set the regiment of horse. Oh no, they're all 
getting shattered. And then here come the supporting Swiss troops running to get into combat as if that will help them. You guys march up. You guys advance. You haven't even got fire at will on. Well, no, one unit didn't. Okay, let's not go crazy. Recall the cavalry. This is what this is three infantry units against a Swiss unit. Swiss units do, I think, get bonuses for melee combat, but our objective is then to take these five line units. March them up, ready to push the remaining the remaining units. Now you too are also done. To be honest, let's bring the cavalry up. So most of these units are depleted. All of our gunners have horses, so do all of this mortar unit. You don't, so you're going to continue plinking from the rear with round shots. And let's speed up time. Because right now we're not in any major combats. And let's try and push up. Push up some of our artillery units. I do accept that these units are very thin. But I'm only really speeding up time until. These men push the flanks of the 22nd Foot Guard Infantry Unit, Infantry Regiment. So who's that coming? Foot, Foot Guard Marine Unit. Probably not gonna stick around for too long with 56 men. They're starting to engage the pikemen. Okay, who do I want to? Horse Grenadier Guards, 55 men. Command our cavalry to conduct a long range interception. Close range massacre of this pikeman. I'll probably route. Yep. Line infantry guards have tried their luck. 
It's more concerning. Bring our cavalry to bear. Push up our infantry regiments. Push them out to point blank range. Bring unit dragoons over here to attack the square. You go way too close. And just ignore these guys and go straight for their horse artillery. Drawn the dragoons into battle on this flank. Bring our guns to bear, bring our howitzers to bear, and make sure we pick a target. They are lifeguards, of course. So it doesn't make sense they were able to do that. Our dragoons are finally starting to run out of steam. Let's run this infantry unit up. Yep, there goes our cavalry on the flank, but we have just destroyed their line infantry. These guys form square because they're about to receive a charge from cavalry. Bring these guys into the equation. Goons are on foot. They've dismounted. Destroy the fifth. Good. Can you men form a new line? Give you some howitzer support. We've won the left. In which case, then let's just push these guys up entirely. Let's make ready to receive enemy infantry. Here are the engineers. They're at full strength. But they should be about to receive some enemy fire. Can you engage them? No, you can't. There we go, now we're engaging them at point blank range. Charge the Light Dragoons with my general. Drop the quick climb on the Fusiliers. Look at that for a quick climb hit. Holy hell. Looks even worse from that range. You can see just how many men there are. So send my cavalry to intercept some of the routing troops. Could lose my general doing this, because this, this is kind of the thing I do.
load the fire up onto the enemy there. There you go, they're losing Dragoons. So they should... Oh, shaken. Let's destroy those garrison guards. Let's make sure they don't come back. Good. Damn right we're going to continue. But mainly because... Mainly because we have a few cavalry units. Oh, they're already shattered. But they're all they're all escaping, but they've all got They're all shattered. So it's not as though they're going to knock around on the campaign map. Come on, General's bodyguard. We are never going to catch up with those dragoons. Well, let's give them an objective. Well, they are running to the absolute furthest corner to route from. But while that, while that's a win, it's a costly win for us. But that's why we can reinforce from Genoa. So we did lose 1,300 men. They lost 3,600. Most want to kill us going to line infantry and straight musket battles, which is pretty cool. Obviously, they, they go that way. They could literally go anywhere, but they choose that way. Oh, the Venice garrison's going to come out and do something. Tunis are on strike, but now they are no longer on strike. The British have moved out of their port, which means the British are done for, because we're going to take Tripoli and we're going to take Algiers like this. So the territory is ours. Let's repair the government chambers. Let's rebuild the army here. Let's also build, rebuild the army here. But yes, when we attack Tripoli, that will be the end of Britain. Oh no, it won't. I forgot. What about these guys? My bad. If they head west, we should be able to intercept... Let's add General Cuissier, Colonial Infantry Unit, Grenadiers, some guns. Pretty much we can start to make this to another um, another actual army. But it does mean Britain is going to be on the move. But our navy here is at full-ish strength. So let's move... You guys, less the light galley into Syracuse. We can move this fifth rate to Syracuse as well. We can get Syracuse to build. Well, to be honest, I quite like this navy. I could probably do with a bit more muscle. Let's get two second rates, but we do want to sail and chase down some of these ships to prevent them from causing too much frustration. Vito Spero is here. He is going to raid his way north. Got this army here in London, which needs another gun, but I'm not going to do too much spending there. Let's build Cambridge up into a school. Oh, it's going to add 15 clamour for reform. Bad idea. So let's rebuild the pleasure garden. Let's knock down the dry dock. Oh, 
we can recruit a sloop to occupy. Let's get... Uh, he might be wise to stay there, actually, because it looks like the Scots... looks like the Russians might march up. Uh, we've got a school in Seville, which is good. Dundee's got craft workshops. We also have a new town, Tatooine, which I'll build into a smith's. I'll spend the last bit of our cash on some farms. I think I can now tax you. Yes, I can. Good stuff. So yeah, this army does need to replenish and attack. We'll get ready to attack west, because Oran, this army is probably going to flee and land somewhere else. We do want to take this garrison out to go and hit Vastevalen. Vastevalen. You guys can march back to Venice. This guy's Swiss guard's gonna go sit in Venice for now, just to just for there to be something here. So we do have some reinforcements coming in from France. March these guys up to Michel Contarini. Okay, so March 1. Let's move this light galley to Safaki, which is probably going to be... I might actually keep it. It's going to start to churn out some more ships here as well. But I do want to take this fleet and go and attack Carey Hope to just knock out another British fleet. But, looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for another another, another clash at the, on the high seas. Cheers, everyone. <laughs>